everybody, it's Science Back here, and today I'll be t helping you guys or uh, giving you guys a tip on how to use your gems efficiently. And by efficiently, I mean how to get the most warlock out of your, your gems. But I don't know if my, this method is the best, but every 1000 gems, it gives you one warlock. It may, t it may take a while, it might take some effort, but it's too worth it. And it's, I don't know if it's better than farming, but yeah. So, it's really simple. As you guys know, it's a rare seed pack method. So, basically, you can see I have 15,000 gems, which means I can buy 100, 50, 100 gems, so I can buy 100 packs. And then, 100 packs would give me 50 worlds because it's 2 packs per work and uh, most importantly it's actually quite easy to sell because maybe there's a lot of people that is actually uh, trying uh, to get vending machine work so they need all of those um, uh, seats so yeah let's get to it so basically from buying, from buying. There you go. Um, so basically, I just to buy until my inventory is full, and I'll just spread them out. So basically, I um, if you wanna, you have to spread them out, but you don't put until like max or max items per per square. What you want to do is you can put five. A seat per square, so it can't be any seat. It could even be like, like you know, I got secret passage seat. I could just put five secret passage seat, and the first one that I put blood away, and I put the next one. So by doing this, you allow the buyer to make sure that there's the amount of um pack that you see because it's five uh seat per pack, so one dirt will represent. And secondly, it'll be easier because by doing that, you can actually organize it well, so you you yourself can actually know how much there is, so you want to give extra. Yeah, if you give less, the per um by putting them all in max, the buyer will not. There's a chance that the buyer will not buy it, and you might probably like buy more unless you have like a perfect amount of gems. So as you can see. Uh, my entire inventory is filled, so I'm gonna recycle six because I buy hundred pets, so it'll be perfectly hundred. So what you're gonna do is like one, and then two. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna put it uh, further, like here. It should be like one, two. Then this is two, so it'll make it three, four, and this will be five. So this will be counted as one pack, so I'll put, it, I'll put dirt over it, like that. So how if, I usually like to put it as 10 here, if I was to make about 200. If I was to make 300, I'll make it about um, 20 or 30. You can go as much as you want, you know, but I usually prefer 10 because I don't usually have as much jam, so Okay, so basically, how I usually get these smart gems uh, is farming. So basically, you can actually earn more warlocks if you are to farm. So, example, I've been farming chandeliers. So, it, example, I have 1000 chandeliers. It would give me probably about, uh, I don't know, 20,000, 30,000 gems if I was to harvest it and break it. Uh, if I was to, I think, harvest it, it'd probably be at 20,000. If, if I was to about to harvest and break it, it'd probably be about 50,000 or maybe even 100,000. And that is enough for me to get 50 willow or 100 willow, which is really, really good. So I'm currently putting it out like this, as you can see. So, 
it's like that. So there's currently one, and it's easy to count, okay? So since you put it all together, you can see like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's really 7. So this is really, really easy to see. So just put it down. And it's really easy for the uh, buyer to collect. So if you are those kind that's rich and really helpful, you can obviously put, instead of dirt, you can put like a uh, house entrance or some door so that the owner can just take it easily but that's if you're rich it should take like two or three warlocks to buy all those pictures you could say a uh, quite decent amount yeah but and um it takes some it takes up quite uh takes up quite a while to find a spell or two, so currently there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so there's 10, and then, I, what I would do is I'll put it on top, like that, so this could actually make it up higher, so, um, if you were to sell 200, it would be very high up, like, quite high, but, yes, so like I feel like if you put if you were to put ten, I feel like the max you can put is all the way up is about two hundred. If you to make four hundred charger, I would suggest probably putting like another ten or five because it will be too high. You know, it will be hard to get up. So yeah, as you can see, it takes quite some time, but your but your efforts will be paid off so there are many people selling like a thousand packs so I don't know how they actually have the time I think they'll probably split up into like t two or three days like one hour today one hour tomorrow so I did about uh, 200 packs last time it took me about one hour to put it out well, it took me about one hour because probably um, my inventory too small because I don't really have a big inventory. I have like 116 or 106. Let's take a look. 106. That's not a lot. It would be much better if you have max, like, or maybe even like 196, 186 is good. But if you have like 16 or 26 I recommend you to upgrade first before you do this because it will take you forever why I say this because then you will have to you buy like five packs if you have to no clothing you just put out everything five packs and you have to come out and yeah you know you get what I mean You basically have to keep on buying and come back, buying and come back, which is could be actually quite annoying because you buy and you need to go back and buy and go back. It's not really that good. So if you if you guys think I sound quite weird, it's because I have flu right now. So yeah, my voice is affected. So it's just be all down. So in the future, people might buy it for a different price. But right now, I see people buying it for two packs, one warlock, which is one thousand gems for one warlock. So I don't know if the price will change, but for now, this is a good way to get warlock using gems, especially if you are those people that like to farm. It's perfect. So the other way to actually, there's actually another way uh, regarding to a uh, resin packs is that you can actually plant it and then you sell it. Um, I don't know how much it's worth but it could be worth more because the people that buy the rent, they don't usually sell the seeds. Well sometimes they do but 
uh, I don't know, of like 10, probably only like 2 or 3 cells it as seed. So, if you were to uh, plant it, it would be better, but if you were to plant it, not many people will buy. Because those people that buy the seeds are probably going to plant it. So if you if you to plant it, usually you have to buy from the people that own the main thing. Well, so as you can see, it's like that. So it's very simple to count. Like this 10, it's 3 up. So if this will be to fill, it's 30. So now it's currently uh, 4, 3, so it's about 37. You see, so I'm still really, really far away. But, yeah. So a way to actually buy plus is you click, you buy and then you click on the buy and here. Yeah. So yeah, to kind of like predict where the continual buy and continual uh, button is. So see, very simple, very simple. Just gonna do this. Um, for beginners, last. Uh, what I would do is I'll buy basic splicing kit. The reason why I do that is because it gives 10 rock seeds and last time, I don't know if it's the same now, but last time when I was still in loop, um, 50 rock seeds is way one warlock. So as you can see, if I buy 50, it will be by 5 packs, which means it's 1000 gems. So yeah. But uh, this method now is, I think, is better because more people buy rare pack than that. Because if you were to make like 200 of a rare pack, which is one D lock, um, to get it for the same with the rock, it would be like a lot. You would need to buy a lot of those. Um, it would be easier, obviously, to get because you don't have to lease it out. You can just sell it, but you have to buy a lot, of the, a lot of them in order to um, uh, sell for one dealer. So um, now let's talk about another topic while we are doing this, which is. Is actually casino back, and is mod actually bring it back? Because what I see right now is there's actually a lot of people that is super broadcasting or broadcasting for casino, and every day I see like only five of the casino band, and they are like those not famous ones but that didn't even broadcast. Look. Minimate casino, casino, casino. You scroll up. Oh, I bought a lot of stuff. Oh, not really a lot, but as you can see, it's three already. That's a lot, and mods are not really spending. And this will be our topic for the next episode. And for now, I will just uh, buy and put it down and. I'll be right. Okay, guys. I found out. No, I found out. I suddenly remembered. This is actually another way to put down the the seat. This is if you are the patient type. The patient type, which I mean, you put out everything, all maxed out on the floor, on the ground, and then after that. You pick up all the ores and you separate all the ores. Like I put the seed, seed all at one square, then pick all up arrow seed all in another square like that. This we are the patient kind and really want to make things um, uh, easier to sell because by doing that the um, the buyer would be able to see that it's actually rest it pack, not like small seed pack easier and so buy easier. Um yeah, but that's if you're the patient type. If you're not the patient type you can do this like me. 
because I have no patience. Um, I prefer making things fast, making things fast. I wouldn't want to waste any time or any well. So if you were to found, so if you were to do this method, uh, to be honest, you would probably um need a starting cash. Um, not really a lot, but you can kind of start out with small farming, and after you make like uh um like ninety blocks, you can buy. Uh, 200 changes of seed, you plant it down and I think you can start out from there because by putting that thing you can harvest, break the changes and then by doing that you, you earn yourself tons of gems and then you can break it again and plant it again I don't know what I'm talking already but, but basically farming is still Farming is still a way to earn warlocks. So maybe you should create like a meme or something, a quote on like farming is the way to success. Woo! So what a nice quote by Silas Bok. So yeah. Uh, for now, guys, I don't really have my on the world because as you guys know I'm a poor guy I doesn't have any warlock um, um, because you know I spend it all on stuff um, totally not that on the enemies want to hear but you know every good to pin spends warlocks um, so yeah when I finish by all and putting on stuff I'll get right back to you guys so yeah okay guys so I'm done putting up all of the sheets um don't ask me why the the dirt's not there I just had nine of dirt but so if after you have all of this what you want to do is remove the entrance okay and then what you want to do is when you go to buy rare seat pack let go and gave one giant here. Oh, that's only six people. I don't think it's so less. Just now when I came in mean, to check, there was a lot. So I see sell hundred pet for fifty. Don't say fifty. Say sell hundred pet. Sell hundred pet. Sell RSP. Sell RSP. SP now come. In a box selling FSP now come. People will come. Okay, you just have to wait selling RSP now. So they come and okay, so let's see what they can say. So ready by So that's a lot of people. So I'm gonna get the key. So, what they buy? Wow, what is with people buying the monthly item? Look at all of them. Wow. What's your offer? So, for me, I wouldn't mind um, from the range of 45 to 50. So, I usually take a 50 gap. So, yeah, because I'm a good person. So... Let's look at that guy. He's like analyzing all the eyes like, okay, okay. So that is a music or what's behind? What's that? What's that? Is that a lava or? So yeah. I'm really just counting how many or is there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's about 100. So I'll go check prism. Okay, so they got 50. He offered first. 
So there you go. We just earned 50 warlocks. Boom. So, yeah. This is quite an easy way to earn warlocks. Um, not easy way to earn, I mean, efficient way to use your gems to earn the most warlocks. Yeah, so if I see the offer, they put to give me 50 warlocks. So, yeah. I'm just gonna end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope that you guys get tons of works from this method. And yeah, see you guys in the next episode.